Welcome to Picture Healer channel. In this video, we want to look at 20 popular symbols or feng shui enhancers for wealth and abundance. These are the lucky items you can display in your house or office to enhance your money luck and the general prosperity. I will start with the obvious one. The first one is the Wealth God or the Chai Shen Ye. In Chinese culture, the Chai Shen Ye represents good fortune and wealth. So displaying money God in your house can bring good fortune and money luck. The second one is the extension of the Wealth God. It's called the Fu Lu Shou. This one includes three figures and it means prosperity, good fortune, and a long life. And the third one is also similar, it's called the Laughing Buddha. You've probably seen this a lot. There are many different postures for a Laughing Buddha. Generally, the Laughing Buddha is a little bit chubby and always smiling or laughing, so it brings positive energy. And many of the Laughing Buddhas are holding an ingot or carrying a big bag of treasure. So it reminds me of Santa Claus. The Laughing Buddha can bring you happy energy and abundance. All these Buddhas and gods are not really related to religion. So you don't have to set up a very special place in the house to display. You can just place in the living room, in your office or entrance area. The next category of lucky wealth enhancers is related to animals. So the number four here is a lion and fu dog. We see them all the time. They are usually in pairs, usually a male and female, and they have the function of protecting your residence or protecting your space. So you usually see it in front of the main entrance facing out so they can guard your place. The lions and fu dogs can bring you authority and the power. The number five is the dragon. The Chinese dragon is similar to the function of the lion. It can bring authority, power, and protection. Qilin is another feng shui animal that can bring career success bring helpful people and protect you from negative people. And number six is the horse. Usually we relate horses to success because of the high spirit and the strength. So in many Chinese families, you can find a statue of a horse, usually in the position of jumping up. That's the symbol of career success. And specifically, the nine horse painting is very lucky. And because in 2024, we are starting period nine feng shui. So the number nine will become very lucky. Next one is the pi xiu or pi yao. It's similar to qi lin. It's a symbol of power and energy. And the pi xiu can also protect you from negative energy. So this one is very useful, especially in the areas that can be affected by negative energy, such as the five yellow or the three killings. For placement of Pisho, it's better to have the head facing outdoor or window. That's a symbol of the Pisho going out to work for you. The number eight is the uh, money frog or the three legs money frog. This is probably one of the most popular Chinese feng shui cure. Usually the frog has a coin in the mouth or he is standing on some type of coins. And people believe this is a magical animal that can bring you good money luck. You can place a three leg money frog in your money corner or near the entrance. The next popular feng shui money enhancer is a fish. And it covers several types of the fish. The most popular one is the koi or the carp. And again, the number nine is very auspicious. 
You can find a lot of Chinese ink painting that has nine koi fish. It means good fortune. Another lucky fish is the gold fish because of the color that's very bright and cheerful. And the color is also related to gold or ingot. The next popular fish is uh, arowana fish. It's a very famous feng shui fish that's supposed to bring you good fortune and good money luck. You can find the statue of this fish as a money enhancer in many feng shui stores. And the last animal that's related to money luck is a lucky cat. It's not a traditional Chinese feng shui animal, but it's become so popular People relate this Japanese lucky cat to whale's luck. In many Chinese or Asian restaurants, you can usually see a lucky cat, probably with its hand waving at you. The movement increases the lucky energy. So this is an alternative to the traditional feng shui animals. The number 11 is the water. Water is the symbol of wealth in Chinese feng shui. So that includes a water fountain or fish tank or painting of water, usually the waterfall. You can find many Chinese ink painting with waterfall and mountain. The painting of waterfall is supposed to bring you good fortune and abundance. Just make sure the flowing direction of the water is going to the center of the house and not flowing out of door or out of the window. The next lucky feng shui item is a wind chime. And the metal wind chime is very useful. It creates movement and sound, so it will activate the energy. The six rods or the eight rods wind chimes are very auspicious because they are related to yang energy and the bagua or the period eight. The next auspicious item is fruit, including oranges, persimmon, peaches, pears. They are all symbols of abundance. That's why in the Chinese New Year, many people like to display a lot of oranges or display some orange trees. The number 14 is crystals. The natural crystal is more powerful. Depends on different crystals and the size. They all have different functions. Most crystals can raise up the energy of the space. So if you have a corner that's a little bit dull, you can add some crystals to increase the qi. If you just want to enhance general energy, you can use the five color crystals representing the five elements. So it enhances the overall energy. The next item for symbols of career success is a boat. Many of the whale's boat sculpture carry ingots or coins to symbolize abundance. And many of the boat has a dragon head in the front. So that's also auspicious. And you can display a sailing boat by your desk or office to enhance your career luck. The number 16 is a coin or ingot or gold. It can be real coins or just decorative coins. You can display them together in a money corner to enhance your money luck or you can set up a jar of the money near the entrance area. So every time you go out, you can bring some coins. And when you come back home, you can deposit some coins and that will keep your money energy circulating. The next one is a mystic knot or the Chinese knot. And it's usually in red color and the red is a very lucky color in Chinese culture because the knot looked like a lot of infinity symbol. So it has that meaning of infinity and forever. So this is also an auspicious symbol for wealth luck. 
The number 18 is an abacus. This is an old Chinese tool for calculation. It's like an old calculator. So you can see it's related to finance and displaying of an abacus can improve your financial luck. The number 19 is the five emperor's coins or the six emperor's coins. It's related to five or six most wealthy dynasties in the Qing dynasty in Chinese history. So those are supposed to bring you good fortune and abundance. But it's very difficult to find the real one. There's a lot of imitation. Now we use the five emperor's coin more for the symbolic meaning of good fortune. And also because it's made of metal, it can be useful in reducing five yellow or the number two illness star in the flying star feng shui. The last one on my list is the plants, especially the money plants. And this covers several types of plants. Usually they have large leaves that's green and shiny, and they tend to grow easily indoors. It can be a jade plant or posas. Even lucky bamboo is considered a money plant. So those are the items you can display around your house to enhance your money luck and general prosperity. I think the idea is to surround yourself with something positive and keep you in a positive mindset so you can focus on your important goals easily. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching and talk to you next week.